Today, we're gonna have Kyrie Irving versus the Cavs by himself. That's right, just Kyrie against the entire lineup of the Cavs. Well, not just Kyrie because he needs players to play with, but we're gonna remove all his Celtics teammates and we're gonna team him just pretty much with the worst free agents that are available in the game, as you can see there. So all those guys. And we're gonna put this on Hall of Fame difficulty because Kyrie wanted to leave the Cavs. So let's see if he can beat the Cavs by himself. So I wasn't too much worried about the offense. I figured I need to do like hardcore, hardcore defensive settings because how am I gonna defend the Cavs with these guys? And the defensive settings don't matter at the beginning. Couldn't do anything. LeBron, on the other hand, also decides to ISO. I'm right there. It doesn't matter because I have really bad defenders. Well, Kyrie better carry on the offensive end and the pick and roll is not working because nobody can shoot. So this is not going very well for Kyrie on either end at the start. I mean, he drew some fouls, but I'm not going to be able to make 100 free throws. I mean, I at least need 110 points to beat the Cavs. And they just, oh, look at LeBron just not missing. Shimmy, Dream Shake, everything. And it's not that, like, at this point, because my defenders are so bad, Wade is not missing jumpers. He gets the shot contest me, nothing. Thank God for us, though. I say as God and Kyrie, but not the ISO is not working either. And we're just getting murdered. And at this point, both Kyrie and I are starting to realize if you don't have people that can shoot, Running a pick and roll is useless. I mean, look at Kyrie and Joel Anthony. Thank God for Isaiah. We went away from the pick, got some ISO. So we're still getting baskets thank to, thanks to Kyrie's incredible efforts. But LeBron's ISO just can't be stopped. Uh, I think we have Reggie Williams on him, so that's a bad idea. So I started off in the first quarter hoping if I can stay close, I have a chance. I'm doing nothing but pick and rolls and isolations. I mean, these are really, really tough shots. I've been making some out of 12 points, but this is not going to last for the whole game. I'm just going to get murdered because the Cavs are running ISO and basic pick and rolls. But yeah, my defenders aren't helping. So they are slowly pulling away. And LeBron is just showing up. Look at this. Like It's like he knows our defenders are terrible and he's just going to isolate. I took off Joel Anthony, put on Silverman. Now, now they're doubling Kyrie because they figured out all I'm using is Kyrie. And this is going down the drain. LeBron is now running double picks and that's death. Bad teammates, bad results. This Kyrie challenge is not going very good so far in the first quarter. Now J.R. Smith is heading contested free ball. By the end of the first quarter, we are heading down a very, ooh, very, very, very bad path. Entire Cavs teams are murdering us on the glass and on both ends. We're down six. We're going to be down by 24 if this keeps up. So I decided to make a strategic change on offense. Instead of isolating Kyrie and running, you know, middle space pick and roll, I decided to have Kyrie come off screens, catch and attack. So he's going to come off multiple screens from this point. Look at this. He's running off that four screen plays I showed you guys. And uh, if it doesn't get an open shot, I'm going to flow in the pick and roll after the screens. And surprisingly... That's now getting some easy looks, especially because they're hard hedging and double teaming on Kyrie. So this adjustment is giving our offensive efficiency much higher. So that's a good sign. And uh, because it's the second quarter, thank God LeBron is off. So the Cavs are playing their bench and their bench is obviously not as good as LeBron. So we're getting some stops. We're trying with our worst free agents in the game. All of these guys playing with Kyrie right now are just free agents in the game. And they're the worst ones. I just picked like the 12 worst ones. So they're I think all underneath 70 and all in the 60s. So these guys are terrible. But the settings are helping. So they're trying. And our insistence of keeping Kyrie coming off picks constantly is working. You see we're down by one at this point. Kyrie gets an open free ball, swish bomb, we're up by two. So Kyrie coming off screens is working. And Zimmerman here is a lot better than Anthony, as you can see, because he's just taller and he can dunk. So he's helping us. He's playing great. Look at that, 13.6 out of 7. LeBron is back, though, after five minutes, and we're back to this. So the LeBron ISO would not be stopped because we can't find anyone to stop him. I mean, I can't put Kyrie on him. Kyrie's probably the best defender on the team right now. This is bad. So when the pick and rolls don't work, the plays don't work, we isolate Isaiah and ooh, Kyrie with the jelly layup. That's insane. So it is at this point in the game that I realize 
Kyrie Irving on 2K18 is an incredible force on offense. From this point on, he just carried. I ran all screen plays with him and he could not be stopped. Like look, we're up by 7, we're still up by 6. And at this point he's on fire and when this guy's on fire, his passing is also insane. So Simmerman is getting these easy rows. And yeah, we're hitting spin-off jumpers out of ISO. Kyrie is not correct. He has 24 points in the first half. More off-screen plays out of the flush action. And he finishes over Tristan with the end one. Normally, I would kick that, but I got no one to kick it to. And Kyrie's also trying on defense, as you can see here. I say I get blocked. I think that's a block. I'm not sure, but he missed it. Bring it. I say as late too, so I bring up with Kyrie as quickly as I can. Go back to Joel Anthony, and the insistence on hard hedging and doubling is hurting him by now. I get the ISO back, drag him back out, and I say on Kyrie, bad idea. Floater from out of the paint over K Love. That's insane. And at this point, what you want, I found out Perry Jones, the terrible free agent from the free agent list, actually can do decent on LeBron James because he's a huge human being. He's like a wing player, but he looks 6'11 or something. And Kyrie is just now finding Joel. If Joel Anthony is getting dunks, you know Kyrie's doing all the work. It's not Joel, he's just running in a straight line. Kyrie's doing all the damn work. We are pulling away here, actually. We're up 11 at this point. And this play is killing them because even if they bring help, Kyrie would just finish over them. So in the end, after the second quarter, with the strategic change of having Kyrie come off handoffs and off ball screens, and then running isos, Kyrie thinks it's him against everybody. Look at his face. <laughs> We're doing it. We're up eight at the third quarter. Kyrie Irving alone versus the Cavs. At this point in the second half, I realized, hey, if I could just keep this eight point lead, I could win. And the Cavs are over panicking on Kyrie. They're doubling and hard hedging majorly. And that's actually hurting them because like, look, watch this. When I run a pick and roll, they're gonna hard hedge, they're gonna bring help. That leaves Joel open and Joel's hitting floaters, so thank lord for that. But their adjustments are not correct. Also, they started running the, the offense is like I can't believe that went in, but their offense is also not doing very well. I can't get to Perry Jones, he's not open, but he's driving it in, but I shouldn't have trusted. I think he dunked it off the rim. So at this point, my Strategy of trying to hold the 8 point lead is not happening. The Cavs are coming back. They're only down 6. I couldn't believe this. Perry Jones are actually stopping these LeBron ISO post ups. So even though the Cavs are trying to catch up, I mean, like they, they get it again. But Perry is trying and he's making it hard. So that's all I can really ask for because I got nobody on the team. I try to take a free here. Like that's the last time I'm trusting any of these guys. I don't even know their shots. So I shot that terribly early. Perry Jones are dunking things off the rim. And LeBron is coming in for N ones. And this comeback is real. We got four minutes left. I'm not really doing my job. I couldn't find anything. I couldn't get the lead any bigger. The Cavs keep you know making the lead smaller i work it around and at this point like i just can't do any of these guys like but the double teams by the Cavs are actually hurting them they keep doubling carry hard so i was able to work the ball around and get some easy looks i mean it's still hard to pass and flush with all the scrambling but their double teaming is helping so the Cavs made a wrong adjustment there Kyrie is just trying everything you can look at the double again so i see it i flush in harrison that gives them an easy look. The doubles are very tough, hard to adjust to, but if you got quick fingers and you have the recognition, you can actually find the right space for it. And eventually, the cutting plays with Kyrie started to work again. So we were actually able to build a small lead and hold them off. We're up 15 now. So Kyrie is being ridiculous. More doubles, more kick. When I see a double, I don't even bother. I kick it because I, I try to hold on to it at the beginning and I would just turn it over. So if they double, I'm going to trust my teammates. Flush and carry from the side. Another two points. So we're up 16 now because we are actually stopping LeBron and they keep running these LeBron ISOs that weren't working. So Kyrie now is just going to pull up because he's on fire. Peg 19 points. I couldn't believe when this was happening. Like, I had no idea Kyrie Irving in 2K is this good. I mean, I haven't really used him all yet. I used him for fun, but... I never put him into such a situation, and he's up 21 points again the Cavs are Hall of Fame by himself. They came back in the fourth quarter, I just dragged the game out. I was able to uh, 
I lost a lot of the lead, but I was still able to hold on to a 15 point lead. The doubling is getting them killed, and we are gonna win this game. I have no idea how, but Kyrie Irving on 2K18 is amazing. Like, the stuff that this man was doing in this game. I mean, on Hall of Fame, if you have Kyrie and the worst players on the team in free agents, he can score 55 and 20 and beat the Cavs by himself. So, whoa. Like, that's <laughs> insane. So, I actually enjoyed doing this as challenging as it was. It actually allowed me to see the different aspects of the game. I consider these, like, you guys know me, like, these are 2K stress tests for me. Like, I do this just to see what the games behave like in crazy situations. So, this is very challenging. If you guys enjoy it, I can try somebody else. Let me know who I should try next and against what team. I'm just going to show you Kyrie's uh, sco uh, scoring quarter by quarter here. He really exploded in the second. That, you know, look at that, 19 and 6, 8 and 10, 2 blocks, a turnover, but like whatever, 2 or 3 from deep, like he really exploded. He started to calm down, relatively speaking, in the second half, he actually played kind of bad in the third with 2 turnovers, missed every 3 in the 4th quarter, but eh. What can I say? So that was pretty crazy. If you guys want to see more, let me know. As always, thanks for coming by. I'll see all of you next time.